welcome into this Photoshop tutorial, of course, brought to you by tutvid.com. And today we're going to talk about creating contact sheets, or what I refer to as comp sheets. It's like taking a bunch of images, laying them out in one document, and then being able to send this sort of example file to a client or prospective employer, um, or whoever. Maybe it's, it's somebody who you just shot images for and you want to show them the best of the best of the best and include it in one image. It's located here under File, Automate, Contact Sheet 2. Um, so how do we go ahead and do this? Well, I guess let's just jump in and take a look at it. But before we do, let me not forget, this tutorial is sponsored by our good friends at WP Engine. They've got the best WordPress hosting out there. Their servers are tuned just for your WordPress site. I've hosted tutvid.com on them for at least two years now. It's been a long time, um, and they're great. Go to tutvid.com slash WP hyphen engine to get a special discount code for tutvid.com viewers. There's a link in the description of the video. You can click on that and check it out. So file automate and we can just click contact sheet. Now here in contact sheet, one of the things um, that we need to do is begin by essentially telling Photoshop, where am I getting images from that I'm going to lay out in this contact sheet? So I'm going to say, yep, folder. Uh, we can also just choose files, open documents in Photoshop or documents from the Adobe bridge. I'm going to stick with folder because I can choose the exact folder that I want. So I'm going to go to my batch folder here and I've got six different images. I'm going to hit open and we can choose to include subfolders. We don't have any subfolders in there that have anything in them. So I don't care about that. Next up, we set the parameters for the document that's going to be created. How big would you like it to be? I'm going to set it to just a standard letter size here for here in the US, eight and a half inches by 11 inches tall with a resolution of 300 DPI is fine. We can also choose to flatten all layers. This is going to generate just one flattened image with no layer structure in Photoshop. Uh, if we don't want it to be flattened, our thumbnails will all be on individual layers. In fact, if we use this caption uh, option down here, we can use file name as photo caption. You choose whatever font you like, uh, you know, whether bold, italic, I'm just going to stick with regular 16 point, that's fine. Um, if we, if we choose to keep this and, and not flatten it, I guess is what I'm trying to say, every text layer will, will be there, every uh, caption will be on its own text layer, and every image will have its own layer. If we flatten it, it's just one flat shebang. Um, thumbnails, we go across first. This means that we're stacking like image one, image two, image three, image four, five, six, like that. Um, whereas if we do down first, they're gonna go you know down and over and down, over and down kind of thing. I'm going to choose uh, three columns with two rows. There's going to be one, two, three columns, and one, two rows. Um, I'm not going to use auto spacing. Auto spacing, I find, makes everything really tight. I like to have some good space. So I'm going to go like 1.25 inches for the vertical and also 1.25 inches for my horizontal spacing. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. You're going to see what's going to happen is it's just going to create one contact sheet because we have uh, six images and with three columns and two rows, we have six slots and you can see our photos are all dropped in place and they all have the file names. Well, a couple things. I would like to be able to reduce the opacity of the file names, so I probably wouldn't want to flatten this image. And also, I'm thinking that this whole contact sheet might work better if we just, if we like rotate the whole thing on its sides. We make it 11 inches wide and 8.5 inches tall. So let's close this. We're not going to save it. We're going to go back and do the whole thing again. Go File, Automate, Contact Sheet. All right, we're going to stick with, when the dialog box appears here, we're going to stick with the same folder. That's great. We're going to change the width to 11 inches and the height to 8.5. Whoop, 8.5. The next thing I want to do is I want this to be two documents. So I'm going to roll with three columns, but I'm going to set it to use just one row, and I'm going to reduce my spacing to 0 0.75, so three quarters of an inch, 0 0.75. Uh, file name is all the same. That, that's great. That can remain the way it was, but I'm not going to flatten my layers. This is going to allow me to reduce the opacity for those file name captions. So here, go ahead and hit OK, and you're going to see it's going to create two of these files, right? And the images are going to be a little bit larger, right? Because we've reduced the amount of spacing that's going to be between the images, and also there's just more room. Uh, and you can see over here, we've got all of our text. And I can just command, select all of those layers, reduce the opacity down to like 25% or so. And I can go to my other document, same thing, command, select all those layers, reduce the opacity uh, down to like 25, 26, great. And we now have these contact sheets that we can save out as JPEGs or, you know, we can export these, right? If we close this original file, we can go back to what we learned a couple days ago. We can go automate a PDF presentation and we can just use the two open files and export these as a PDF, just a multi-page PDF. Uh, we're not going to... 
yeah, actually, we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're not gonna include any kind of text. We already have text on there. That's fine. We can go ahead and choose save. We can just save this as you know test 01, whatever. Who cares? Go ahead, save. We're just gonna go smallest file size. Great. Save the PDF. And if I go to my desktop and check this out. Sure enough, we have a test 01 PDF. And if I open this up, you can see there's page one. And if I go to page two, there's page two. So obviously one of the one of the big takeaways that I'm hoping you're getting is if you're going to use the file name as a caption, name the file something maybe that's a little bit more descriptive. That might be a little bit of a better way to go. And also, if you're using the PDF conversion, um, it might be a good idea just to use the PDF convert. Well, now for scratch that, forget that I even said that. You'll want to just name your images something a little bit more creatively, or maybe even if you're going to be super picky, go in and get rid of the file extension, uh, just like so. Uh, you know, but you'd have to do that obviously with all of your different images. So if you've got 50 images uh, in a contact sheet, maybe not the best idea, but just remember if you're working with a contact sheet and you've got 50 images, somebody can also just say, Hey, three images over from the left and two down from the top. I love that image. Let's do that or something like that. So contact sheets in Photoshop, really useful. I, I use this feature all the time. I love it. It's one of the best ways I think to display images quickly um, and beautifully to a client. If you're just quite trying to maybe throw together a mood board or show them the best images you like from the shoot, or maybe you're sharing logo ideas with a, a potential client or a client that you actively have. Um, contact sheets can be incredibly useful and they're so fast and easy to use. Drag all the assets into a folder, go ahead and just you know link up that folder and say, hey, grab all the images from you know folder wherever on my hard drive and create the contact sheet and then send that image or convert the image to a PDF, whatever you prefer to do, send that to the client and uh, you know everything just looks better. You look more professional and everything's just a little bit more organized and I love organization. So for contact sheets, comp sheets, whatever you want to call them in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.